Hey guys, um, today I have a review of the uh, Content Aware Fill in Adobe Photoshop CS5. Um, I've picked out four different images to give you an example of uh, different situations. Um, a quick uh, mini review before I get into this. I found that it doesn't work as well as it appears in uh, the video that Adobe put out of it taking out trees and filling in um, panoramic images and whatnot. Uh, it, it doesn't work as well as that, but it, it works well uh, in certain situations. So uh, let me give you an example. Uh, in this picture, I'll take out this shrub here. I'll take out uh, some of these inconsistencies in this hillside right here. So uh, you select the uh, spot healing and you make sure you have content aware selected up here, the radio button, uh, and you can set your brush size. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit. So just draw over that area that you want to take out. Let's take that out there. And you can see it takes it out. Um, let's go ahead and take out some of this down here. And that works well there. There's a little bit of choppiness right there. If we go over it again, it, it fills it in a little bit better. And um, we'll take this out. So, well, there's a little bit of a, well, I'm not really sure where it pulled that from, but we can take that out. Oops. I had to grab hold there, not that. Um, take that out. And um, we'll take the little cell tower thing out. And that goes away. Well, I actually messed up the bottom a little bit, but you can fix that. So, works well uh, for small things like this. But, um, say we wanted to try to take that tree out here. It might work. I haven't tried it with this picture yet, but you'll see that it uh, is probably going to not look... Well, actually, alright, it made a lot right? It may work pretty well. Um, you just got to go through it and bounce it out a little bit there. But, um, alright, so it worked good for that, actually. I thought it would would be pulling pieces of the sky in. I've had that happen. Um, so, um, yeah, it worked pretty well for that. Um, we'll find an example here where it doesn't work so well. Hold on. Let's try this tree. Instead of cropping the image and making it a weird uh, aspect ratio. Let's see if we can just take it out. See, it, it did pretty well, but it does this ghosting feature here, so uh, sometimes if you run over it a few times, it works. Yeah, but it's, it's fading a little bit, I guess, but yeah, so for for bigger stuff like that, it, it it does become a problem because it does this ghosting thing. It does pull in portions of the picture that could easily be from over in this area too. So um, for that, you probably just want to actually crop it, or um, there may be some way to do it a little bit better. I I just got the program the other day, so I haven't had a full opportunity to you know to try different uh, different things up here. Maybe there's a a uh, uh, intensity setting that you can set or something like that, but I haven't had a chance to, to see that yet. But uh, if I do find that, I'll make a different video and show you an example of that. So that's it for that one. Let me pull up another picture. So I picked this out. I wanted to see if I could take the pole out here, take these little anchor pieces out, maybe drop the lights off of it. So let's start with the anchor. That worked good. Let's uh, open the brush up a little bit more. I'm going to try to take this pole out here. This may pull in different sections of it. I'm not sure how it's going to look. I 
That worked. All right, it worked pretty good. It even kept lines here too. So um, let's try to take this out. take it um you can see it it struggles here a little bit it pulled in a piece of the reflection and this isn't really consistent with the rest of the picture let's try the lights yeah so uh you can see it worked good for the lights there's a little bit of a, a thing here maybe just there, that's better. Um, didn't work so hot for this. I pulled in a piece of the reflection and just didn't keep this consistent. And um, you'd probably, if you took the pole out, I'd have to take this out too, and that just is going to get messy. It's not going to work out so well. Uh, so, on to the next picture. Let's not save that. Yeah, how much time do I have? Six and four minutes. So I picked this one because I wanted to take the rails out. So let's go ahead and give that a shot. This may take a few seconds to go through it. These are pretty high quality pictures. They're five, five and a half megs. Um, so it worked okay. Did a little bit of that ghosting. Let's see if we run it again. It's yeah, so this one, this one's actually taking care of the ghosting. It's still filling it in yet, but if you go over it a few times, it seems to balance it out. Let's try to take this one out. See, it's doing the ghosting thing again. So I'm not going to waste time running through it, but um, if you go over it multiple times, um, it may balance out a little bit better. Um, like I said, I haven't had a chance to mess around with if there's some kind of intensity setting up here. You can see there's there's different um, different modes here too. I haven't had a chance to, to play with them yet, but uh, I'm going to go through that, and if I need to, I'll make another video. So one more picture of uh, this uh, close-up of a snake that we took. Um, it's a dead snake, so we actually propped him up with this stick in the background here. Uh, so if you're showing a picture to family, friends, uh, they're going to say, oh, it's a great picture, it's a great close-up, but what is that in the background? <laughs> so um, we're going to go ahead and try to drop that out. I've gone ahead and done this already on an, uh, on this picture, so I know that it'll work pretty well. And see maybe it's a little inconsistent in there but you can just go over it again let's try to take some of the blood off of his nose so yeah this I found that it struggles it pulls in some of the grass but um, let's see you can go ahead and fill that in with the uh, the clone stamp or even just the proximity match let's try that real quick yeah it, it's pulling in the grass but um, I was able to to get it in a different picture and uh, it worked out pretty well. I had blended some of this area down in here but that's maybe another video. Um, right so uh, so again quick overview this was a review of the uh, content aware fill in Adobe Photoshop CS5. Um, I found that it works well for smaller areas uh, such as little trees in the background maybe some trash um, in the picture on the ground uh, even people they may not want in the picture um, for bigger things like full-size trees and other big things it struggles uh, it's not exactly as perfect as the Adobe video would make it to believe but again, it works uh, works well probably for the average user. So that's it for this video. Uh, please rate and subscribe and check out my other videos. Thanks.